lawyer, and we just have so many success stories, how that has helped people by being able to talk to to a lawyer at 3 o'clock in the morning. We just think that's one of the greatest benefits that we offer. This particular time, we were on our way out of town going on a business trip, and no sooner than we got to the airport, got a phone call 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning, a historical hysterical teenager uh, shouting that uh, the security was following her out of the mall and that they came up upon her, snatched a purse, took her purse, dumped it, and accused her of shoplifting. And she had nothing in her purse. Um, she was hysterical and frantic, humiliated in front of everybody in the mall. So she calls me and she's yelling and hollering. I'm telling her to calm down. There's nothing I can do. Call your attorneys. And that she had her legal shield in her pocket. And so at that time, we finally got her to call the attorneys. She called them. They calmed her down. They talked to the security at the mall and they walked her to her car. And they were very apologetic. I got a call one night about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. A young man, he was about 23, 24 years old. He'd been stopped by the police because he had neon running lights on his car. So I took the call and I, I ran down the hall so you know, I didn't wake up my wife. It was 4 o'clock in the morning. And he said, look, they've stopped me for neon running lights. They want to search my car. And I said to him, I said, OK, have you been drinking? He said, no. I said, are there drugs in the car? He said, no. But he was very nervous, and as an attorney, the first thing you don't want to do is consent to a warrantless search, to a search without probable cause. So I said to him, I said, OK, let me talk to the officer. So he hands the phone to the officer, and I said, officer, you've stopped this young man for neon running lights. He goes, yeah. I said, that's illegal. He said, where did you go to law school? You don't know that? I said, look, when I went to law school, they taught me about important things like contracts and murder. I said, now you tell me the probable cause for searching this car, for giving him a field sobriety test, for giving him the breathalyzer. And he said, look, I have the right to do this. I stopped him. I suspect it. I said, then good. Then you tell me how you're going to respond to the civil rights case we're going to file after the warrantless search. This is a violation of his constitutional rights. I said, now give me back the phone and let me instruct my client. So I got the kid on the phone. He was a young man. He was terrified. I said to him, look, I have already told the officer I'm not consenting to the search, but you have to be the one to tell him that you're not going to consent to the search, you're not going to take a field sobriety test, and you're not going to take the breathalyzer. At that point, the young man sounded kind of distracted, and I heard him say, uh, thank you. And I said, what's going on? He said, the cop just gave me back my license. He's walking back to his squad car. Identity theft is everywhere we turn. It's the fastest growing white collar crime in America. On the news, the radio, in the papers, credit card companies have even made entertaining commercials about it. But for someone who's experienced it, it's not a laughing matter. Chances are you've been affected by identity theft, or you know someone who has. What the commercials and ads don't tell us is how identity theft is not only about credit card numbers and online shopping. That's only the tip of the iceberg. One of the biggest problems today for consumers across North America is the concept that's hard to understand. It's a crime called identity theft, where someone steals your identity. And it's hard to understand until you become a victim of it, and then you understand that your life is literally turned upside down. Uh, prepaid legal offers a very unique coverage. And speaking as a former attorney general, I know that prepaid legal can do for its members what the attorney generals of America would like to do, but cannot do because they don't have the staff to help these individuals one by one by one by one. And that's where the coverage that prepaid legal offers in identity theft is unique and special and I think worth having. The fact is we're all at risk. It's easy to steal your personal information. The only thing you can do is take action to reduce your risk and prepare for the possibilities. The same company that pioneered the legal service plan in the United States also makes available to the public the identity theft shield. The reality is life's not fair. Not everyone is honest and bad things happen. But when they do, don't face them alone. Whether it's a simple conflict with an auto repair a faulty product, 
are helping you deal with the tragedy of identity theft. With a legal service plan and identity theft coverage, you'll have power, confidence, and peace of mind. Access to the system is the key. That's why wealthy people are willing to pay a lot of money to have it. Justice for all can and should be a reality for all. Prepaid Legal Services Life Events Legal Plan can help that happen at a price you can afford for you and your family.